Welcome to Adobe Photoshop CS6, Blur Tool, Dodge Tool, Pen Tool and Type Tool. After completing this unit, you will be able to blur a portion of the image using the Blur Tool, lighten or darken part of your image using the Toning Tools, create a selection using the Pen Tool and add text to your image with the Type Tool. In photography, you can take a photograph of something and make it out of focus, like the background of this image here. If you don't achieve this effect in your own photography, you can create this effect in Photoshop using the Blur tool. The Blur tool is a brush tool with many of the same options as other brush tools, however this tool does not paint onto the pixels, it simply makes them seem more blurred and softer. Each click of the mouse with the Blur tool increases the blurriness of the selection. The subset tools here are the Sharpen tool, which is almost exactly the same as the Blur tool, except it sharpens the selection instead. The other tool here is the Smudge tool, which as the name suggests, smudges the pixels as you paint over them. You can even add colour to the Smudge tool by selecting the Finger Painting option here. We can look at these in more detail in future, but feel free to experiment with them. The next tool to look at here is the toning tools, which again act like brush tools with many similar options, size, hardness, etc. Except instead of painting colour, they paint exposure and colour saturation onto the image. The first one here is the dodge tool, and this increases the exposure as you brush the image. This can be used to lighten the selection of an image. To balance this tool out, we have here the burn tool which reduces the exposure levels and darkens the selection. These tools allow you to change exposure levels of specific parts of an image to enhance it. The last tool here is the sponge tool, which changes saturation instead of colours in the image. You can saturate or desaturate any selection. This allows you to increase colour saturation in a specific part of the image. The pen tool is next. This tool has multiple functions which we can examine in future courses, but for now we will look at creating a selection with it. The tip of the pen tool can be used to make selection points in a similar way to the polygonal lasso. However, this method has more exacting controls over the selection creation. When you create points for a selection to join up with, you can extrude and manipulate the line between the points and create a curvature between the control points. Once you have created a loop, this little circle appears to let you know that the selection path is complete. Just release and then click Make Selection up in the Options window to make the selection. You can then use this selection as you would any other selection. This tool can be daunting, but I encourage you to try to get to grips with it, as it can be very useful in some circumstances, and we can look at its other functions in future courses. The final tool in this unit is the Type Tool. This simple tool lets you type text onto your image. When you select this tool, your cursor changes into a typing box and you can place it anywhere on your image by simply clicking on the desired area. Once you do this, you can type your text. The text will appear in the colour of the foreground palette and up in the options window, you will see the usual options associated with text, font, font size, etc. Each time you use the type tool, you create a new layer here in the layers window. To manipulate the text after you have created it, you can simply select the layer in question and then you can use the Move tool to reposition it, for example. You can also turn on the Show Transform Controls button and resize or rotate your text. The only other subset tool we will look at now is the Vertical Type tool. This works the same way as the Type tool, but it orientates the text in the vertical plane as opposed to the horizontal one. We can look at the other subset tools of the Type tool in future courses. The Blur tool can blur a portion of the image to make it look out of focus. The Toning tools can change the exposure of parts of the image. The Pen tool can be used to create a selection in the image. Text can be overlaid on top of the image as a separate layer. 